Yeah, this is a Phaedra's uh, pitcher plant production facility. It's got like hundreds and hundreds of them. These are all uh, hybrids, fancy hybrid um, pitcher plants. It's just got hundreds and hundreds of them. Wow. There's some really big ones. Amazing. I mean, they're really huge. Look how big they are. Yeah. Big. Big. Yeah. Here's some others. These are, I guess, native Oregonian weird little pitcher plants. And um, lots of penis fly traps. Lots and lots of them. Hundreds and hundreds of them. That is a big. That's like I could catch a big bug. Yeah, numerous bugs. As you can see, even. And in they this do, right? Yeah, they've got flies stuck in them. Yeah, it's yeah, not, there's yeah, like flies three in of them in that one. Yeah, wow. Impressive. Yep. Big mouth. Some sundew. You can see, like they'll take a whole fly, and the tendril. Will oh, it's like all wrap wrapped around. around it. Yeah, it'll wrap around. <laughs> slow mo, <laughs> slow motion death. <laughs> Little fly traps. I know Darwin. I guess he he loved sundews. Oh, that's right. He was really into those. Yeah, he did so oh. many different uh, experiments with them. Flava times Oreophila uh, develops traps that can get up to about 35 inches tall. Wow. Pretty impressive. Huh. So, we're going to go ahead and dissect one of the traps from the Dorian's Colossus and see what kind of bugs are in there and maybe hopefully identify some of them. So we've gotten there that we can identify. So definitely wow. a few mobs, a lot of mobs. What are these? I know, they almost look like... Flies? Yep, yep. definitely Lots flies. Lots of flies. This is a spider. Okay. And then... It does kind of... Ants. Ants. They're pretty heavily digested, aren't they? Yeah, they do break down pretty like quickly. Ants, sort of. So, yeah, so it could be yellow jackets. Probably more than likely a lot of yellow jackets and maybe a wasp or two. We'll dump that on a piece of paper. Okay. Just like open another one. So how long have these been have these leaves been out catching bugs? This one's about nine years old. No, but I mean this particular leaf. Oh, just this season. Since what? Since the spring? About five months. Five months. Four months. This is all stuff that's been in there in five months. Wow. Quite a load. Still moving. June, July, yeah. We started in about April. Four months, four yeah. Months. About four Just months. dump them out on this piece of paper. Just scrape them out of there. Pretty badly decomposed, huh? Yeah. It's really hard to identify too much other than just that there's a lot of green bubble flies. You can yeah. see they're shiny. Yeah, and you can abdomens see and thoraxes and, yeah. and moth and wings. Moth so, so mostly those. There's probably some. I think there's some longer wings in here that could be from a wasp. Yeah. Wasp yeah. Doesn't that look like jacket. a wasp wing? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like yellow jackets. Yeah. Yeah. Those are wa yellow jacket wings. So, but they're really quite digested. And but they don't. There doesn't really look like there's many bees in here at no. all. Which is great. No. Interesting. No. Yeah. The bees oh. just aren't attracted for some reason. There's a little ladybug. Well, yeah, the bees are looking for pollen and nectar and honey. Yep, exactly. And the wasps probably smell this, you know, decomposing stuff, and it's like, oh, protein, oh, right? Protein, so they're yummy, attracted yummy, to yummy. it. Yeah. Okay. It's quite a hole. Yeah, there's a ladybug right here. It's there. Yeah, it's yep. a ladybug, for sure. There's a spider running around. <laughs> it's the only ladybug I can see, though. Mm-hmm. Maybe that one? Nope. Nope. 
But gosh, you can really see how that's a lot of material for the plant. Yeah. I mean, that's plant. a lot of fertilizer. Yep. They are gluttonous. That is for yeah. sure. They are so good at what they do. Yeah.